Maria Elizabeth Hasselblad and Stanislaus of Jesus and Mary are now officially declared saints. He read this formula that declared them saints as their tapestries adorn the altar in a large ceremony presided over Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square. Beatos Stanislaum a Jesu Maria Vaccinci et Mariam El Elisabeth Esselblad, Santos S. de Cernibus S. de Finibus, Ac Santorum Catalogo la Scrivimus, Statuentes Eos in Universa Ecclesiae, Inter Santos Pia Devozioni Recoli Devere, in nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. In his homily, Pope Francis reflected on the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. He said that the lives of the two new saints reflected this mystery. Si è manifestata la potenza della sua resurrezione. The Pope explained that God does not remain unmoved by the death of people because he himself experienced what it is to die. He also sympathized with those who mourn the death of a loved one, such as the widow of Nain who lost her son. Gesù chiede per sé la nostra morte per liberarcene e ridarci la vita. Infatti, quel ragazzo si risvegliò come da un sonno profondo e ricominciò a parlare. E Gesù lo restituì a sua madre. Non è un mago, è la tenerezza di Dio incarnata. In lui opera l'immensa compassione del Padre. St. Stanislaus of Jesus and Mary founded the Congregation of Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the first religious order founded in Poland and the first male order dedicated to the Immaculate Conception. Today it has about 60 houses in 10 countries and 500 members, of which 345 are priests. He won great fame as confessor and preacher. He also was the chaplain of the Polish troops during the war against Turkey in Ukraine in 1674. Maria Elizabeth Hasselbland was born in Sweden in 1870 within a Lutheran family. She converted to Catholicism a few years later and dedicated her life to work for the unity of Christians, especially in Northern Europe. She founded a new form of Brigidines known as the Brigidine Sisters. She endured the Second World War in a covenant in the Eternal City, where dozens of people fled and hid many Jews, a work that earned her the recognition of righteous among the nations. <laughs>